today's tutorial we will be working on part two of the corner to corner shelves and waves crochet pattern which is part of my C2C series where I show you several different ways to work up a C2C style project. Part one covered the increase stitches and part two will cover the decrease stitches. Before you can start decreasing you have to end on a row A which is explained in the first video so you should always end with seven double crochets. So once you do your seven double crochets at the end of your row, of row A, turn your work, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to make a V stitch, the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then continue across the pattern as you would normally do. Chain five, V stitch, chain five, V stitch, and so on until you get to the end of the row. So chain one, chain two, chain three, chain four, chain five, V stitch into the single crochet of the row below double, chain one, double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet into the single crochet of the row below, chain one, double crochet. Now we want to end the row with a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And a single crochet into the last space where we would normally do a V stitch. So insert your hook, single crochet, and turn. Now we're going to chain one and this is a row A, a decrease row A, I should specify. And you're going to single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the shell below. You will see that that made the other corner of this blanket. Continue across as you normally would for row A, seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Continue across, single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the shell below. Chain one, 
seven double crochet into the v-stitch one two three four five six and seven single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below seven double crochet one two Six, seven. Single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below. Seven double crochet. One. single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the shell below seven double crochet into the v-stitch of the row below one two three four, five, six, When you get to the last shell of the row below, single crochet into the fourth double crochet of that shell. One, two, three, four. And turn your work. And that has created a third corner of our swatch. So we have this corner, this corner, and this corner. Sorry this corner, this corner, and this corner, and eventually we will work up to our final corner. So now we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna make our V stitches all along up to here. double crochet, chain one, double crochet,
chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Chain five, Then we are going to slip stitch into the single crochet from the previous row, which is right here. So I'm just going to show you with my other crochet hook. Right there. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And it's really important that when you do your slip stitches that you don't do them overly tight because the this side will tend to curl. Now we're going to turn our work, chain one, push the chain five to the back, and again you don't want to do the chain one too tight either. Um, and now you're going to single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below. seven double crochet into the v-stitch one two three four five Six, seven, single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below, seven double crochet into the V stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Single crochet into the fourth double crochet. Seven double crochets into the next V stitch. One. two, three, four, 
five. Six, seven, single crochet into the fourth double crochet, seven double crochets into the last V stitch. going to single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the shell below. And again, don't do this side too tight either. And then you're going to turn your work. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. V stitch into the single crochet of the row below. One, chain one, double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and loosely slip stitch into the single crochet, oops, into the single crochet of the row below. Turn your work, chain one. And again, make sure it's not too tight. Single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below. Seven double crochets into the V stitch. Two. Three. Single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below. Seven double crochets into the V stitch. One, two, three, Four, five, 
six, seven, and then we're going to single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below. Seven double crochets. Six, seven, single crochet into the fourth double crochet. Turn, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, V-stitch, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, V stitch again, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and with a chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and a slip stitch. Turn your work, chain one, one single crochet into the double crochet of the row below, fourth double crochet of the row below, seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet into the next shell below. And seven double crochets into the last V stitch of this row. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the shell below. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and do a V stitch, one, 
chain one, double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch, turn your work, chain one loosely, single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below, seven double crochets into the next v-stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the row below, Now we're going to turn our work, chain one loosely, and single crochet into one, two, three, the fourth double crochet of that shell, and you have now made your swatch. Simply clip your yarn, pull it through, and that is how you do the C2C shells and waves. If you have any questions, post below. If this video was helpful, please smash that like button, and if you want more content from me, hug that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're looking for more action in the crochet community, join us in our private Facebook group at Hooks to Hooks Crochet.